Well, hello, it's 12.15 on a Saturday. Let me show you some things. Hey, we are going to purchase an infrared sauna on Amazon and get it shipped to the house. That's right. So let me, oh, well, I already have that in here. Infrared saunas for uh, two people. So, you know, you go through here, you kind of pick them out. There's 3,800, 3,300, um, 1,700. I don't know. You're looking for something that fits the area. It fits your area, seems sturdy, um, has good ratings. I think we're basically looking for a box that gets hot. Isn't that what a sauna is? I mean, how long are you going to be in there? So here's the one we picked. The Durasage two-person carbon infrared sauna, Canadian hemlock wooden sauna, 1,700 watts. got Bluetooth, FM radio, USB input. Um. That's a pretty good one. What do you think? Look at that thing. It's simple. I'm looking for a simple, and I'm looking for sturdy. I liked um, this stuff. How you click on that? This stuff in the back. So one, two, three, four, five, and then there's one on the floor. Six heating panels. So we're going to order this. Okay, so we ordered it. A dude pulled up in a van, and there were two boxes laid horizontally, and I don't think that's how it's supposed to be shipped. But look at this. There's a hole in one of the boxes. So we called up Durasage, and they were completely sorry about the whole thing, and they shipped us another one, and it was shipped this way, upright, on a pallet, wrapped nicely. So hats off to you, Durasage, for your customer service. So there's one positive thing right there. That's a great way to begin this video. I'm going to guess this is the bottom. Oh. Uh. Well, goodness. So this is the smaller box. Here's how it's packed. More cardboard. So this looks like it's the bench. You know, nice. Really light. Here's the part that goes at the back of your legs, I think. And I think this is the top. Yep. Speakers. LED light. Here's a vent. Not too heavy, not too bad. And here's the bottom. So there's where your feet are gonna go. Here's where the bench goes. And this is about four feet by four feet. Nice and sturdy bottom. Seems to be little plastic feelers here. Plastic feet all over the place. Bunch of them. Yeah, that's for the front, right above the door. Okay, here's box two. <laughs> oh boy. So this looks like it's one of the sides. Oh, it, oh, it. So there's one side. So I can, that's light enough where I can lift it. Let's look at the other side here. Piece of glass. So this is probably going to be the left side. And here's the right side. That looks kind of big. So you're the hired muscle? Yeah. There's a cat over there. Hopefully the cat will get out of the way. <laughs> Follow the instructions. Bottom board, back board, left board, right board, bench, front board, and then the bench, and then footrest board. I don't think we have that. Front board, top board. So the back board is going to sit right on top of, there's a groove here, and then they all just clasp together on the back here. No tools required, apparently, for now. 
So here we sped it up a little bit so you wouldn't get so bored, but make sure one guy's holding the panel, the other guy's kind of, uh, you know, wiggling the panel around so things fit nicely. And, you know, you really finish everything off after you have all four panels on. I'm going to guess you just plug these in. So now we've got the front of the bench. We have the sides and the back. So, and then this is, you know... A, co uh, a heat thing too. So let's put the bench top on. Screw holes in the back, screw holes in the front. So the, those will go like that. Okay, oops. Uh. You screw this in, right? Yeah, you gotta screw yeah, that okay. in. Whoop, well, okay, See, yep, like yep, yeah, okay. That's All right. probably screw it in. Here we go. Here's the top, but we have to take this board off so we can get to the connections. So here's a speaker. There's silica gel. You gotta cut that off of there, I suppose. Another speaker. There's the vent. Um, LED light. And the circuit connection map. Oh, we better follow the map. And then there's the cord. Yeah, it looks pretty self-explanatory. Just like in the directions. Okay, let's put it on. Once again, two people bring it over the top and it'll fit right inside of those uh, four walls. It's uh, pretty light and I would guess somewhat fragile, but it just sits there. And then on top, it's pretty self-explanatory. You plug in this cable and some other cables that I don't think it matters, you know, where they go. Person without training is strictly prohibited to open the cover. So don't open that. Here's the power cord. We'll throw that off the back. Goes in this little holes in the hole. Here's the front. So I gotta screw that on. Okay, and then I gotta put the screws in on the bench. Two in the back, two in the front. Put the handle on. So there's L1, light one, light two, three, four, five. That's green, six. There's red. Nine different lights. There you go. So there's the temperature 125. It's rising up 167. Audio takes you to Bluetooth, USB, and then there's radio. All right, well, I hope that helped you, um, you know, make some sort of decisions with an infrared sauna, and I'm glad I could show you something.